check it out the august 15th update um some of it's already live we were kind of peeking and stuff so we'll we're gonna have to see and everything i am legit out of the loop but i'm really excited about it all right brand new content we got the summer party living a time event from the 15th to the 28th um We've got a cool summer awaits by the sea. A mysterious beach suddenly appeared in the Pangli, and hot potato counter has also changed. Open stashes in survival or participate in showdown or hot potato to obtain popsicles up to 10 per day. Consume popsicles to randomly unlock a location on the event page. Um, you'll get corresponding rewards and unlock a summer party comic. Oh, it's going to be a comic. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. Um... There's six areas in total waiting. Enter the event page for the first time each day to get one watermelon popsicle. Use that to specifically unlock locations. And after it's all unlocked, use the popsicle and water popsicle on the event to get a uh, special silk or spectral silk awards. Brand new decorations on the Pangli is a pool beach beach chairs and enjoy the summer party together, which I'm so excited about. All right, so we got hero adjustments. Kai Lin slightly reduced the airborne height caused by horizontal strikes while his ultimate is active. Um, optimize the tiny timing for canceling his charged attack and optimize the sound effects for the charge attack. Um, dev notes, currently Kai Lin is a bit overpowered in group battles with his ultimate frequently blocking enemies airborne. Occasionally he often loses um, sight of his enemies because his attack send enemies too far so um they're reducing that tarka after activating the ultimate the rage consumed by tarka's second stage dodge elbow strike attack will be reduced by 20 percent tian hai remove the cooldown of the jump and stomp for ultimate instead tian i can jump and stop up to two times and then um his jump and stomp move can now be canceled with a jump so that's cool yoto the damage multiplier of the first three strikes of Yotohime um, ultimate have been adjusted from 3, 3.5 to 4 to 3.5, 3.5, 3.5. So all are the same instead of going up. I guess the damage multiplier will remain the same as before. Three and one hitting heroes that have transformed. Okay. The damage multiplier of the final three stages of Yoto's ultimate variant demon blade combo have been increased from 2 to 2.2. 2, 2, 2. So she's getting a tiny buff, I guess. I'll take it. <laughs> Kurumi, the cooldown of Kurumi skill variant healing break guard has been increased from 20 seconds to 22 seconds. And for Matari, the cooldown of Matari skill variant flash thrust has been increased from 18 to 22 seconds. So longer cooldown. She's getting a little bit of a um, of a nerf. The damage and recovery multiplier, the flash thrust while matari's ultimate variant invisible assassin restore is active has been reduced the skills damage multiplier has been reduced from 3.5 to 3 and the recovery multiplier has been reduced from 2.8 to 2.4 <clears throat> all right um liam the cooldown of liam's skill variant magnet repel has been decreased 28 seconds to 27 oh that's barely anything the amount of rage consumed for each arc sword ultimate skill in solo mode has been increased from 20 to 30 percent okay so you can't use it as much because it takes more um rage or whatever um and other modes remain unaffected okay the recover multiplier of uh auric swords ultimate skill flash move has been increased from 1.5 to 2.1 in solo mode, Lamb's ability to disengage with Oryx Sword allows him to create opportunities to counterattack a bit too frequently. Thus, we have increased both the rage consumption and the healing effect of the uh, provides in solo. Okay, okay. Let's see. Weapon adjustments. Fist blades slightly reduce the stagger time uh, by first and second stage. Um, vertical strikes slightly reduce the stagger time by the second stage. Slightly reduced how long the fist blade blue focus will linger. Slightly nerf the auto aim um, for the fist blades airborne horizontal strike. Slightly delayed how quickly a player uses fist blades and can start a combo and reduce the damage of Cloud Weaver by seven percent. Okay. 
interesting well there you guys have the major changes now to the store update which is what you guys are all talking about wait 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 summer party searing sun zai is getting a summer outfit what what okay okay she is getting a legendary outfit legendary dagger skin uh which says watermelon pops it oh my gosh tell me tell me tell me that the dagger's not gonna be a popsicle because you know that's gonna be my main epic hairstyle dazzling tress legendary accessory summer party quack quack oh my gosh individual cosmetics okay okay zipping zipping is gonna be summer serenity okay outfit epic hairstyle legendary accessory oh my goodness okay okay are some of them gonna come back are we gonna get the other cosmetics like i don't know valda legendary outfit creatures myth a jingwei um dual blades legendary skin eggy party the yeah so the finisher which we already knew about eggy party pixelated glasses the whacking dance leisurely vigil matari pose legendary kill announcement cloud um killing for all heroes um we have Kylan pose, Kylan background, Kylan face, she'll hairstyle, Viper hairstyle, Tessa pose, um, Wu Chen pose, Wu Chen hairstyle, Tessa background, Wu Chen background, Tessa base, Wu Chen base, she'll background, Viper background, she'll base, and Viper base. And that is the patch note!